When a business starts to have traction, customers start to have questions. That's a good thing. If you fail to answer those questions, your customers will get upset or disappointed and go to a competitor. If you're okay with that, then you can pause the video right now. But you're not. You clicked on this video and you're here. Welcome. Ways to increase agent productivity and customer service. This is coming from a CX expert, 15 years in the field, 10 years and as consultant. Number one is establish clear expectations. Tell your agents what you need them to do. Set clear expectations of what is expected of them. There's nothing worse than being in a job that doesn't tell you what you're doing wrong and what you should be doing right. Here's some metrics you can track to help you with this. How long does it take for an agent to reply to a ticket that has been assigned to them? Number of first contact resolution. In an ideal scenario, an agent just has one reply to solve a ticket. Now, the more one-touch tickets or number of first contact resolutions they have, it means that they are performing well, that they know what they're doing, and they're researching, and they're giving the right answers, and your customers are happy with that. This means your agents are doing more efficient work, and your customer is benefiting from a direct answer that solves the request. Next one is number of tickets handled per hour. And last but not least, customer satisfaction score. What is the customer satisfaction score that the agent gets when they interact with customers? Now, obviously, if the agent gets low customer satisfaction, a conversation needs to happen on why that is happening. And the next one is very intense and I keep talking about it. Invest in self-service solutions. Now, just because a customer had a question, it doesn't mean that an agent has to be there all the time. Now, if you purely look from a demographic perspective, millennials and Gen Z for that matter, they don't want to talk to somebody directly. They'd much rather solve their requests on their own. So when they do reach out, it means that they failed to solve their request on their own. So they're already a little bit pissed. I've been banging this drum for a while now. You need to have a knowledge base in place where you document everything about your products and your services that you sell. This has a lot of benefits for you because it saves you a lot of time and it deflects incoming tickets. People read about how to solve their stuff and then they don't submit a ticket. No tickets in the system? Perfect! Less agents. Money saved. Now this has been customer facing, but you can also have a knowledge base which is private and it's only available for your agents. This means that you can record how to solve different types of issues you put them in a nice knowledge base and agents can read how to solve requests by themselves without asking the team leader, how do I do this? How do I do that? Especially when you onboard somebody new, they can just read how to solve requests by reading it in the knowledge base. Another time saved for you. Examples of self-service, a knowledge base software, an FAQ page on your website, a community forum where customers can come together, and of course, an automated call center feature. But the next one is even better. Measure and review performance with your agents. Another way to help improve your agent productivity is to regularly measure agent performance metrics. The customer service software can help you with this. All of them have some metrics and some reports available that you can track agent efficiency. Three of the most important metrics are first reply time, average handling time, resolution time, tickets handled per hour, Etc. Now, once you've collected all of this information, it's very important to have a conversation with your agents. Hey guys, this is how we did. And it doesn't look very good. Customers were pissed last month. Can we do something about it, please? Let's take it one by one. Hey John, maybe you need some training on how to do order delivery because it seems that customers are a bit upset with how you handle that. Hey Lucy, you seem like you're a bit burnt out because you're helping everybody and you're handling so many requests because you're so much more experienced. So maybe you can get a week off so everybody else can start chipping in and learning a bit more. And then this next one I like even more. Celebrate agent success. Now what keeps each individual motivated depends. There's so many things. Some people are motivated by things. Some people are motivated by status. Others are motivated by power. That's up to you to figure out within your own team. But one thing is for certain, if you acknowledge somebody's success and good performance, then that will increase their productivity even more. Now you can celebrate agent success in many ways, like giving them a shout out in a team meeting, like taking them out for lunch or an ice cream, obviously offering incentives, 
with these small and impactful gestures, your agent will appreciate that you appreciate them and they will appreciate you some more back. And you also want to create a supportive environment. That's very good for your team. This one feels a bit overlooked and I have to share it with you. Maintain agent well-being. In customer service and as well as in any other job, happy people produce happy results and they give that energy to the people that they interact with, which are your customers. So it's important to prioritize your team's well-being and create a positive working environment. A few ways to maintain great employee experience would be the following. Making sure your agents take breaks, promote a healthy work-life balance, delivering a fair and manageable workload. Now, by prioritizing your agent's well-being, you can prevent a burnout, which can take somebody out and you'll be short-handed and only stress can follow. So keep your agents sharp and productive by caring for them. Okay, we're leaning towards the tech a bit. So the next one is amazing. Use a workforce management tool. Now, this is a powerful way for you to improve on agent productivity. With a workforce management tool, you can easily track your agent's activity and their schedules, their productivity and their efficiency in real time. This is how you make sure that your agents have a manageable workload and that you keep them happy and you have their well-being in mind, as I mentioned a bit earlier. Okay, I love this next one. Make it easy for agents to collaborate. Another way to help improve agent efficiency in your customer service system is to make it easy for your agents to collaborate with one another across teams. Strengthen communication with collaboration tools that let your agents share information with one another with ease. Agents need to ask questions to one another like, how do I do this? Can you help me with that? And when everybody brings their expertise, it encourages collaboration and it encourages better results. Some customer service solutions integrate directly with communication tools like Zoom, Slack, Asana, and you don't even have to jump between apps, which also increases agent productivity. Now, as a bonus to this one, you can also use some HR tools to include it within this communication so your agents can ask directly questions on how to do their job better and they can get quick answers so they don't have a long thread of emails going back and forth. But this next one is the cherry on top. Provide agents with adequate onboarding and training. Now put simply, this can make or break your customer service system. And it can make the difference between a productive team and a slouchy one. If you encourage your agents to learn your business on the fly, it can slow them down and it will prevent them from solving customer service issues. Remember the customers who pay for everything? Yeah, don't ignore them. Now to avoid this, prioritize a well-oiled onboarding and training resources for your agents, an internal knowledge base that they can use to look at how to solve requests. And this will help your agents perform to the maximum of their abilities. This way you can encourage solving complex issues without so many issues. <laughs> The next tip on how to increase agent productivity in your customer service system will knock your socks off. Use a unified agent workspace. Now from email to live chat to phone support to social media messaging, agents have a lot of channels to deal with to solve customer service issues. However, if your support agents are bouncing from one support channel to another, you guessed it, their productivity goes in the toilet. Now to avoid this, consider providing your agents with a unified working experience. This workspace should unify all of these channels into one interface so your agents don't have to spend time in different tabs, which slows them down. This will help them assist customers more effectively. A unified agent workspace can help your agents provide seamless omni-channel customer service support, which will only boost their productivity. Now at the other end of this is of course your provider, your customer who will get faster answers and they'll be grateful and they'll come back and they'll do more business with you. Win, win. This next tip to increase agent productivity is a banger. Leverage AI and automation. A few ways an AI can help increase agent productivity is automating routine tasks that agents don't want to perform anyway because they're boring. Answer customer queries directly by leveraging your knowledge base where you document all your processes about your product and your service. 
provide valuable customer context. Now, in addition to this, AI features such as intelligent triaging can automatically analyze customer service requests and determine the customer intent. They can see why the customer reached out without anybody performing any action to it. They can detect the customer sentiment. Are they happy? Are they pissed? Is it neutral? And they can identify the spoken language so that they can prioritize the tickets accordingly. And they can also potentially translate the request into the agent's native language. Okay, last one, maybe the most important. Equip your agents with the right customer context. Customer context is like the air that your agents breathe. It's like going to dig a hole without any tools. It's like going fishing without a rod. I'm going to stop with the analogies here before I lose you. Now, just like a fisherman without the proper tools to fish, your agents will have a difficult time in offering support if they don't have the right tools in order to do so. Now, using a customer service software will greatly enhance the context and the productivity of your agents. If you're using your inbox to offer support and if you have a call center somewhere else and you're looking at reports in an Excel sheet, then you're in a bit of trouble. If you use a CRM to store all the data that you have about your customer, you give the right context to your agents. You can have all the interactions that a customer had with your business, all their purchase history, all they've read, all they reached out with. So your agents will have a lot of context to give right answers. Now this will enable your customer service team to solve requests without actually upsetting the customer and asking them repetitive questions. And this way you save on agent time, you save on customer happiness, and you make everything more efficient and you offer good customer experience. Congratulations. If you like this content, please consider liking the video and subscribing. We'd be really grateful and we appreciate you. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.